sure. I mean, it, it was definitely a tough rally, and, and it's not the way we wanted it to go. But but in hindsight, we learned a lot. We did a lot. We, we did a lot of testing, a lot of development, a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I had a great time, and, and I can't wait for the next race. I can't wait for the next Dakar. But we got Abu Dhabi up next, and, and I can't wait for that one. Yeah, to be honest, when I look back, um, if you think they're going to be top 10 on my second Dakar, it's still unbelievable. And uh, all good, happy to finish. Thanks to the whole Toyota Gas Racing team for the amazing job. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, I think it's 4,500 kilometers of pure racing. Uh, I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, the orders I was given was to finish, and that's what I did. To be 18 and finishing the Dakar and in a factory team is uh, it's really incredible. And I just want to say thank you to the team. Uh, we yeah, we finished. Um, thanks to the team, um, we did a great job. Um, so yeah, we're happy to be here. Uh, another one done. So uh, yeah, thanks to Dennis as well um, and all our mechanics that worked on the cars. It was a, a, certainly a very tough one this year, but uh, yeah, we're very happy to be here. Unbelievable. Um, we got a puncture quite early on in the stage, so we had to take it easy. Uh, Brett was unbelievable. Uh, I, I can't believe we got to the end and to be in the top 10 and to be six is uh, unbelievable. Yes, I think the statistics are incredible because in overall, of course, uh, all the five Gazza racing cars finished, uh, but the end result is uh, one Toyota Hilux in the top three, two Toyota Hiluxes in the top five, and six Toyota Hiluxes in the top ten. So a remarkable achievement for the Toyota brand and a testimony of the quality, the durability and the reliability.